if you're wondering why I'm laying like this, it's because I'm in a hospital bed and uh, I'm facing death, certain death, uh, quicker than, say, most of you out there, even though Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. I'd like to, to, to speak to people in general about Islam and what it is and what it is not. Because I know that today we are looked at like we are some kind of poison. The news that is reaching the average person out there is derogatory nonsense that doesn't portray or even come near Islam and what it is and what it is not. Fifteen years ago I picked up a book called the Quran and I opened it and I started to read it. What I realized was that the Quran was a way of life. And I opened this book, the Quran, and what I noticed that was different about the Quran is that it was a system for life. It actually works. As I read through and I read the surahs, the meanings, and I got my head out of the, the, red, the red top syndrome, you know, the papers that you buy in this country, what I realized was Islam was a very beautiful religion or system for life. And I prefer to call it a system for life. When we get to religion, we all know that religion has, as far back as we can remember, has always been a point for man to, to start to war. And that war always just leads to more people being killed. And we've got to the place now where the world is such a dangerous place that if it doesn't have a healer pretty quick, then I don't see a very good future ahead of us. When I picked up the Quran, I noticed in there that it was very straightforward reading. It was very light on the head. And as I adjusted to it, yes, I became Muslim. So I, I make, no, no, make no mistake about that. I see her talking to you tonight as a Muslim. And 15 years ago, that gift was given to me. I would like to dispel some of the ideas that have been sold to you. And they have been sold to you. And I also know that people out there may be powerless. Maybe these governments that are running us are bigger than us, but you're not powerless. But I also realise a lot of people out there are waking up and they're realising that Islam coming through the right mouths, through the good people, is a wonderful religion. Full of, full of honour, dignity. One thing that I got from when I became Muslim was my honour, my dignity, my way of life changed. I started to look after myself. Very practical things. And that is how it reads the Quran, a very practical book. There's no mystery about it. There's no burning bushes. There's nothing like that. Um, we also believe in Jesus. A lot of you people out there don't know that, that we believe in Jesus as well. We have no argument with other religions. These are religions and arguments are made up by men who should know better. But it's the only way they know how to deal with it. That's what we've had since time begun and the Western powers put their foot down and got into gear. We've had nothing but problems. So that usually would, would wake up the normal man and to say, well, this doesn't work. But the trouble is, it does work through the sale of arms, through the ownership of one another, through the ownership of cars, through the ownership of other countries. Yes, and I mean other countries, because that's how it's become now. We invade other countries. To get back to the Quran, I know that a lot of people look at the, the, the differences before they look at the similarities. They watch the Taliban and the way they dress on television and stamp Islam there. That's not Islam. Those people were just fighting for a cause they believed in. 
they look at certain dress and certain style and that's what they buy into they don't believe there's actual people that are wearing them that are intelligent good people now I'm not saying Islam doesn't have its problems we have big problems ourselves and we need to get on our we need to we need to really pull ourselves together as Muslims we have got a lot of inside job to do but that doesn't mean that while we're doing that that countries America especially is in the business of trying to dominate other countries you know yes Islam has to have a good look at itself I, I, I couldn't say anything else for that to be the truth but that doesn't mean that we must be subordinate to the United Kingdom and America those countries shouldn't be subordinate to them because it seems that as long as they're making all the laws then it's okay for them to do as they like no doubt some of you have seen recently the pictures from the Gaza Strip well I'm sure every housewife out there would look at their heart and say this is wrong but again powerless to do anything about it but we're going to do something about it because Muslims and people alike you see we have so many people every year coming to Islam because they feel safe within the boundaries of the Quran it gives people a feeling of safety Islam offers another way Islam offers another way a way that we should have a good look at and if you are fair in your judgment and you want a life that is complete that is dignified and an offer to have someone else where people will look at you and know that you stand up straight then come to Islam and have a look for yourself and see what's really going on brush your prejudices aside find yourself a Quran and a Bible and a Torah they're all good books they're all good books but the book the Quran will tell you how to live that's the difference it will give you an idea how to live in peace and harmony and dignity it does actually give a recipe for that in the Quran the other books don't do that in such a formal way as the Quran but as I say I'm not here to argue which books right I don't mind I don't mind I'm soon to leave this earth and uh, I would like to leave behind something better I hope you've enjoyed what I've said I hope I've not offended anyone I hope I'm not I don't want to cause no confusion there's enough confusion out there already um, 